The game has changed. The game has changed. The machines are taking over. It's aware. The AI is aware. No, but seriously, these AI programs nowadays are just getting incredible. Technology moves at a exponential rate. So I want to show you guys two programs at least that could help you if you're a dungeon master or if you're just doing anything else. Literally, this software is amazing. All right. So both these things I'm going to show you are from openai.com. If you go to openai.com, this is what you see. Introducing chat GPT, which is what we're mainly about. Let's see what whisper and alignment are real quick, because I'm going to show you the other two things. We've trained an open sourcing neural net called Whisper that approaches human level robustness and accuracy on English speech recognition. This is the Micro Machine Man presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machine. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machine pocket place that says a police. This is the Micro Machine Man presenting the most mi midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machines. Each one of Dramatic details, terrific rim precision, paint jobs, plus incredible micro machine pieces. Okay, oh wow. That's pretty good. That's incredible. So then you got AI that can read your voice. Aligning AI systems with human intent. OpenAI's mission is to ensure that artificial intelligence benefits all of humanity. An important part of this effort is training AI systems to do what humans want. You better be doing what we want. So that must just be their overall mission goal. Anyway, what we're going to be looking at is ChatGPT and Dolly 2. <gasps> It's saving my chat. That's a new feature. Nice. Give me a script for a YouTube video that explains what chat GPT is. Hello and welcome to our video on ChatGPT. In this video, we'll be discussing what ChatGPT is, how it works, and its potential applications. What is ChatGPT? ChatGPT, also known as GPT-3 Chatbot, is a or maybe dash three is a natural language processing NLP tool developed by OpenAI. It uses artificial intelligence AI to understand and generate human-like text. How does ChatGPT work? It uses a type of AI called a transformer-based language model to process and generate text. It has been trained on a massive data set of human language, allowing it to understand and respond to a wide range of topics and conversations. When given a prompt or question, chat GPT generates a response based on its understanding of the input text and its knowledge of language patterns and structures. The more context and information it has to work with, the more accurate and human-like its responses will be. Applications of chat GPT. There are many potential applications for chat GPT, including customer service chatbots, language translation, and content creation. It can be used to automate tasks and improve efficiency in a variety of industries. Conclusion. In summary, ChatGPT is a powerful NLP tool that uses AI to understand and generate human-like text. It has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with computers and automate tasks in a variety of industries. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a better understanding of ChatGPT now. That was all off the top of my head. I wrote that. I did that all right here. It was all me, JK. See, you guys, you don't even need anything anymore. We can just have the freaking AI do it all for us. So how is this practical for Dungeon Masters? Okay, give me an idea for a D&D &D 5e campaign. Make them cool. <laughs> you can say whatever you want with this thing. I'm telling you, it's pretty responsive. And look, it's labeling my chats now. This, I swear this is a new feature. I don't remember seeing these over here, but maybe they were. I can save my chats from earlier. So it's crazy because it builds upon stuff you tell it. Anyway, the characters are members of a secret society of explorers and archaeologists. The society is sworn to secrecy and will stop at nothing to get their hands on these relics. As the characters explore the land and delve into dangerous ruins, they will uncover clues and solve puzzles to find the locations of relics along the way. They will encounter, encounter ancient curses, mythical creatures. As the collect this campaign combines elements of exploration, puzzle solving, and epic fantasy. What kind of relics could they find? There are many types of relics that the characters in your D&D 5e campaign could find on their quest. Some ideas for relics include the Sword of the Gods, a powerful magical sword that could cut through almost anything and imbue the wielder with divine energy. The Heart of the Dragon, an ancient artifact that allows the wielder to control and harness the power of dragons. The Crown of the Fairies, a magical crown that grants the wearer the ability to control and communicate with nature and the Fae. Sometimes it gets clogged up trying to generate stuff. But I mean, it's understandable, seeing as how much it's creating. Network error. But one thing you can do is click on that, save and submit it again, and it might work eventually. Oh! It's redoing it. The Spear of Destiny, a powerful magical weapon with the ability to pierce through any armor or barrier. The Book of Knowledge, ancient tome filled with arcane secrets and powerful spells. The Heart of the Mountain, a glowing gemstone with the power to control earth and stone. The Amulet of Time, Mask of Illusion, Sword of Elements, the Crown of Command, the Chalice of Life. Could have powerful abilities, but also dangerous curses or drawbacks, of course. 
So these these names are kind of lame. Give me a different name for number four, the Amulet of Time. Give me a different name for the Amulet of Time. Here are a few different names for the fourth relic. The one with the power to manipulate time. The Hourglass of Time. The Timekeeper's Amulet. The Chronosphere. The Time Walker's Talisman. The Temporal Band. The Time Bending Pendant. The Temporal Matrix. The Chronomancer's Charm. All of those are way cooler. And you could do that for the Spear of Destiny and it would be cooler too. See, it keeps all that information and it builds upon it. It's it's awesome. Like, world building, giving you ideas for generation of this is amazing. I cannot get over this enough. It even helps you make scripts. Give me an Arma 3 script for stopping a vehicle and getting out. Here's an example script for stopping a vehicle and getting out in Arma 3. Stop the vehicle and get out. Vehicle stop true. Vehicle set damage 1. Vehicle set fuel 0. Vehicle set velocity. Vehicle set player set fuel. Vehicle player set damage 1. So the spelling is off here, but it, it generally is right for the most part. You just got to take what it's given you and tweak it a bit with these scripting things. I mean, it's getting better and better, but generally, I mean, you can ask it anything anything uh, but yeah check it out chat gpt on openai.com all right now the second tool it's called doll e look at these are all ai generated images so let's just do a skinny white guy on a computer making YouTube videos. Photorealistic. So you type descriptions and then I think the commas, you know, allow you to give other descriptions of ha 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 look it's me. <laughs> oh my god. What's up guys? I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> Alright, let's do a skinny. No, let's do a buff black guy on a computer making TikTok videos. <laughs> well, so I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Man, he's got fucked up eyes. And that's kind of a thing that the AI does. It isn't that good at making the faces. See? <laughs> Look at his teeth. His face. What the hell? Is he wearing a Santa hat? Or he's like, that must be Beats or something. TikTok video. So this is the buffest dude, and it made it a cartoon. So if you like something, you can do generate variations. And it'll make variations on that style, I think. Come on, come on. <laughs> What the heck is this? He looks a little fruity there, doesn't he? Oh, man. All right, let's, uh, so I want to show you another thing you can do. So you can edit the image. So I want gold grill in mouth. I click the area that I wanted to edit, and then up in the area, I typed it in, and it should fill in that area with what you typed in. So you can, oh my god, what the heck is that? Let's not ask questions. This is the closest to what I'm looking for, but it messed up his eyes now. Pimp hat. It might not let me, because some words it doesn't let you, because it kind of, it stop, it tries to stop you from generating naughty images, etc. So you got to be careful what words you use. Ah, <laughs> what the frick is this? One more thing. Family pictures. A macro 35 millimeter photograph of two mice in Hawaii. They're each wearing tiny swimsuits. Look at that. Look at that ridiculousness. All right, we've got a buff black TikTok streamer with a pimp hat and a gold grill and family photos in the background. Let's make variations on this. We're getting less and less buff. They became food guys. I'm about to show you the new Sunday Coney hot dog thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, yikes. Looks like you have credits that you use to generate stuff, so you can't just be using this forever. Yikes. I know that open AI, you just have to sign up and make an account, and a lot of that stuff is free, so go check it out. Go use it. I hope it helps with you creating your stuff. I'm going to be busy working on my next campaign, and if you want to join me, you can find me on Patreon, where you can get access to exclusive content and to my Discord. So until next time, Slim Jones out.